cause I ain't thinking about you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lolly G, and in today's video, I'll be showing you my Holy Grail products of when I do my famous twist out. And yeah, I'm just going to show you my simple routine and we're going to hop right into the video. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with squeaky clean hair and I will be using two products for the entire video. The first product is Camille Rose Almond Jive Twisting Butter and the second product is Lotta Body Moisture Me Curl and Style Milk. I'm going to split this section in half and work with one half at a time. Then I'm going to go in with the curl and style milk and I'm going to apply that through this half of my section. My hair is parted into four sections that I'll be working with. I keep my shower cap on to keep the moisture locked in because my hair tends to dry really fast. Now I'm going to take a small piece of my hair and apply the twisting butter. Then I'm going to also detangle and begin twisting. Okay, so you only need like a teensy weensy amount of product and then you're just going to spread it across your hair, well, down your hair or whatever. But yeah, like this product goes a long way, so you don't want to use too much because it's expensive. <laughs> but yeah, so you're just going to do that and then, you know, get however much you need, honestly, but you don't need that much. But you're just going to start twisting your hair and then detangle as much as you need to while you're twisting so everything can be smooth. And then at the end of the twist, I'm going to do a finger coil, you know, basically to keep the twist in place. So, yeah. So, depending on how I feel, it's how big of the size twist I do. Um, so, if I'm in the mood, you know, I can do them pretty small or like regular size. But if I'm not in the mood, I can do them pretty big. You know, it'll still look turn out good, but it's just a different type of twist out. Like, your twist out will be more fluffy if you do big twists and then your twist out would be more defined and curly and tight looking if you do smaller twists so i kind of like it depends like some of my twists are smaller than the other ones and some of them are bigger than other ones so you'll see how i do it but just twist like that's all you're doing just twisting just twisting just twisting So of course everything is very repetitive and I have a lot of hair so I don't want to bore y'all to death but I'm just going to speed you know everything up but I do want to you know keep a lot of the clips in there so you guys can see because sometimes y'all are like y'all don't really know you know how to do certain things so I'm trying to make sure y'all can see everything that I do so y'all can learn from me you know but yeah so I'm just going to keep speeding everything up and y'all just can watch if y'all want to or y'all can skip to the end but I wouldn't want y'all to skip to the end, but you know, it's on y'all because I do it sometimes too, but whatever. But yeah, so I'm just going to keep twisting. I'm only going to do half of my head and then um, I'm going to skip to me taking down my twist. <laughs> Matter of fact, 
y'all better grab y'all a snack or something and keep watching this video do not skip please don't skip because this is tight this like this like therapeutic like it's like dang she going she really going in on her twist like and they look good like i really want to watch this so do not skip please and enjoy <laughs> Sometimes I'll get the brush caught in the twist that's already done, but it's okay because I can just redo it. I'm going to take my mint almond oil by Miel Organics or My L Organics. I'm just going to put a, like a teensy wincy amount in my hands and rub it in my hands. I'm going to put it all throughout my twist, you know, just rub it through all my hair or whatever. I don't really use oil like that, so I don't try to use a lot of it, but I do like to um, put a little bit on my hair when I'm taking my twist down so it's not too frizzy because oil just sits on top of my hair, so I don't like to use a lot of it when I have to use it. I don't know what happened to my lip gloss in the corner of my lip, so don't try to say something because I don't know what happened to it. But here, I'm just unraveling my twist. I start from the roots and just go the opposite way of the twist, and then it unravels like that. I don't, like, take the twist apart. You know how some people do it, like, I don't, I don't do that. I just twist it around my finger and then unravel it, and this is what the twist looks like when it's unraveled. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy. I just do it really, really quick. I just twirl it around my finger and then it just comes undone. So that's just how I do it. I mean, this way might not work for you. It may make your hair frizzy. So do whatever works for you, but this is how I do my twist. Yeah, I do get lazy and get to rushing and just be pulling it apart from the root. I mean, this is my hair, so I do what I want. But like, if you like, if you can't do this to your hair, do not do this to your hair because it will kind of like snag your ends if you're not careful. So I, just be careful with your hair. Like, I'm, I just be doing a lot. But anyway, this is me separating my curls. 
apart um, after I unravel them, and this is just how I do it. I just find where it naturally unravels and just feel my fingers like through the hair, and then wherever it comes apart, that's where I pull it apart at. So, yeah, like I said, be careful because you can see how it can kind of get caught at the end from like it the, um, from the hair being coiled. So, just be careful not to break your hair off. Voila! Ooh, shake that hair, girl. Yeah. Y'all, look at this. I look good. My hair looks good. So I just usually do a side part and I put a bobby pin in place uh, to hold my hair because it be getting in my face and I hate when my hair is in my face. So yeah, just put a bobby pin to hold the hair like to the side. That's when I fix it up and then zoom me, baby. Ooh. <laughs> so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned anything that y'all didn't know and i hope you take these tips into consideration and use them on your own yeah so don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you tell your mama now your daddy now your cousin them, all them about me lolly g and yeah and i'll catch you guys on the flip side peace